Hey folks, we're going to start real quick on this one. We're first going to go ahead and type in Google Slav Debian and notice this first link here. And make sure that you say, get uh, the same link. And select Debian. That's going to give you the downloads link. And we right click on it, open tab. And here let's make sure that it says Ubuntu. If it is, we go ahead and click download. And now the instructions here we are not going to follow because we're going to do it a little different. So first we click on save. Once it's down, we go ahead and click, uh, first, actually don't click. <laughs> we go to the terminal instead, okay, because we're going to use these instructions second. Before we even do those though, we need to type the following. Uh, sudo app get install the aptitude transport. I'll type apt transport, don't type what I said. App transport. Uh, we need this before we can install the actual program. Okay, so there we go. And once we're done, then we install it by typing sudo dpkg install. There's a space there. And then tilde downloads. Now that assumes that you downloaded it to your downloads folder. If not, um, select wherever else your file is located. Okay, so now that we're done, let's go ahead and there we go. We can actually now launch Slack by just typing it. And as you can tell, it shows up. We type the name of the team we belong to. And here we type in our email address. I type yours, not mine. And then we type in our password. And now, if you're like me and you make a mistake, uh, Slack has a cool feature. If you click continue, you're going to notice there's a button here that says email me a magic link. Right here. Let's go ahead and click that. And what it will do is it says it's going to send you an email which is cool. Okay, so let's go to our mail program. And notice that the email is right here. If you click this button, it's gonna open up the Slack the button, another green button. Go ahead and click that. And that's just asking if you wanna choose this application. And notice, it's just going to automatically sign in for you. And here we go. Here's my interface with all my users. Now, of course, uh, sorry I had to shade everything, but, um, you know, you know the way it is. Anyway, the important thing is it all works. Now, if we close it, we close our tabs here. Let's close this. Let's close this. And let's close this. And now we can go ahead and launch it at any time by just clicking the super button, typing Slack. Now another cool thing we can do is if we always want to keep it easily accessible, besides the super button, we can also add it to our favorites. So if you notice right here on the left hand side, you can right click and select add to favorites now it is part of our favorites so we can also make sure in the app settings here make sure and click launch app on login and that way it always starts up when you start your computer and if you notice here it says leave app running in the notification area when the window is closed we can also change the color schemes you know it's not so much but i mean it's kind of cool i guess yeah change it here so there's more stuff you can do. You can check out those links. So I'll leave it to you to discover the rest of the settings. Uh, let's just just remember that uh, you want to make sure that this is checked. And if it is, you're going to notice whenever you close it, you can click there. Now, yeah, you couldn't see the the, the, the icon, but it's there. So there you go, folks. Um, this is, um, like I said, it's a really, really easy tutorial. 
uh, but I know that sometimes on Linux, uh, things don't work out the way, and you, you might even try it and something's not working. If that does, I apologize. Uh, I did try my best, but there's a thousand other ways this can break. So if you got any questions, let me know. Okay, take care. Bye.